Hello guys, it's Marcus and I'm playing Terraria to show you how to make a... Ah, uh, what's it called? Uh, well, I guess we'll call it an airlock. But how to actually get from one room to the other without putting water in it. Uh, let's see... I would need to go here. Okay, door, you can open anytime you want. And the teleporter's not working. Okay. I guess I need to use this. That worked. <laughs> Took a while. Okay, so... Creating an airlock. Hmm. We need room. And we need to get rid of people. Alright, so we're gonna get, make a room. Oh my god, it's gonna be wood. Saying this would be the body of water, though. All this junk, which I don't need. I have a lot of junk, actually. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be the body of water. We need more wood, which I just got rid of. Shouldn't have done that. This will be the room that we want to get into. And this will be the airlock. Okay, uh, steampunker, punk, not punker, door, because we want a door. Great, good, got it. We're going to need, obviously, some lamps, uh, so we need a logic gate lamp on. We need a logic gate, no, wait, logic sensor, liquid, uh, logic sensor. Are they not available? Logic? I don't know, they're called different logic... I don't know, logic gate? What the f- I don't know, what's it called? Um... Gotta find out. Liquid sen- <laughs> Liquid sensor! Water! Sheesh. Find me a river. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have to go down here. Put the sensor there. Where is the water sensor? Oh, water sensor. Oh, wait. That thing is a little too high. We're gonna have to go down one more. And then we gotta clog this thing up. Because it makes absolute sense. Okay. So we got that part. Hoorah. I can't see a goddamn thing down there, which is bad. Then we need another bleh, sensor. Oh, no. We probably don't. So, I can't even see the sensors. But they're there. Okay, I see them. Just gotta let this guy blow it up. Awesome. Alright, so we got a uh, liquid sensor. We're gonna need a Okay. And okay, that has to be done. Probably a good idea to put 
put them there. Put it here. And these are both on? They should be both off. Okay, so. One wire is gonna have to go through here. To check if the light is on. And one wire is gonna have to go here. Check if the player is active. Okay, you can keep on doing that. We're gonna need activators. And probably a different wire for this. Because we want to make sure that that light is off. They both have to be. Well, no, they both have to be not off. Player has to be in. So one light has to be on. Let's kind of leave it. Yeah, well, actually. We'll figure that out. Okay, we need to... Mm -hmm. This thing has to do something. All right, we need the inlet pump and the outlet pump. Okay, so the inlet pump goes in here. Outlet pump goes somewhere here. Now we need a timer. Okay. Let's connect it. These guys. Okay, we don't need activators. Huh? This pump. It's connected. And this guy. This is the signal to the timer. When there's liquid and a player, which it shouldn't turn on right now. They should be both off. Because there is no liquid and there's no player. There's a player. Okay, now we need a uh, water bucket. Um, give me a hundred of those bastards. I'm just gonna dump water in here. So let's see what happens right now. We go in. Is detected, but the liquid isn't. Well, that sucks, kinda. So we're gonna fix this. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get rid of it. I guess the sensor. Oh my, I'm gonna drown too. Right. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I gotta dig and figure out what the heck's wrong. Oh, Jesus. Maybe it has to be higher up, I don't know. Okay. Activates whenever occupied by water. Okay, so I guess it has to be here. Close the door. And timer should be turning on. It is, but there's no 
liquid because there's no pump. We need the inlet pump to be here. And there you go. Now it's draining the water. Until there is no water. When the water is completely empty. That door should open. So we're gonna have to create a sensor link. It sends a signal to this guy. Let's hope this doesn't screw up. Alright, we connected this. So this should open as soon as the water's gone. There you go. And we are now free. So if I open this door. Boom. Place locked. Door is in. And you basically have your basic... done airlock system so we just put a door here and you can get out without any issues whatsoever so if I repeat the process I want to get in the door drains the liquid Can we put a secondary inlet pump in here? I guess I'm gonna use the same wire and blue. Let's speed the process up. Let's see. Yeah, it works. Pretty cool. And that's a basic concept of an airlock system. I mean, you can make a really fancy one. Oh, but this is how it would look like. So a player presence has to be in there. And liquid has to be in there for this basic airlock system to work. And then the door opens. And as soon as the sensor detects something, it shuts the door. And so there you have it. That is how you make a basic water airlock system. As always, guys, don't be a dick. Hit escape and quit. And now we'll try to come up with some t simple mechanisms for you guys. Until then.